something about the way that you talk to me Even when you're not around I feel you, boy I feel you, boy Take with your love and your energy Perhaps it was the way that you smile I see you, boy Oh, I need you, boy I just thought I should do a haul for you before we start with the kitchen. So this is just the kitchen stuff that I'm going to need aside from the material. Um, so yeah, let's start with this. This is the um, spice rack. I mean, no, not the spice rack, but your pardon. This is the vegetable rack. I bought a single one because we have a single, um, we are going to have a single vegetable rack. So that's why I bought only one as opposed to double um yeah so that's the vegetable rack um let me show you this as well although it's not for the kitchen this one is for the bathroom it's just the bathroom caddy i got it from galma oh the racks i got them from galma including this um this bathroom caddy i bought this bathroom caddy because it was on sale go go galma so it was quite a bargain really it was i think 179 from 279 if i'm not mistaken um i'll fin i'll end off with this and then i got the spice rack guys this one is a 300 um side the mouth. star of the show guys when i tell you that i had to fight for my life for this um for this baby this sweet baby here so what basically happened is that i bought this from leroy merlin um, I'll try and insert the prices if I can. The screenshot of the sale. So this was, um, it was going for 974 when it was on sale. Ne? I ordered everything sharp. And then I was supposed to collect it yesterday. And then on, yesterday was a Thursday. Then on the Wednesday evening, they sent me, I get a notification, my bank notification, um, showing me a reversal for this purchase um so i quickly go to my email and i check what's happening i see that they cancelled my order they're were, they were like no it was an error on their side so i thought maybe the the tap is out of stock or something so i quickly ran well so i quickly went back to my online and i ordered it again so just um uh not just before I went back online to order it. So for the inconveniences, that's what I'm looking for. For the inconvenience, they gave me a 10% discount. So I went quickly back online. So instead of buying it for 974, I ended up buying it for eight something. But it was a 10% discount. So it was I got a discount on top of a sale. So yeah, this baby here, I had to fight for her. I'm not gonna open her. Um, I see that she's got a 10-year warranty. Even the sales lady was telling me, if you are so good, Isa, you can bring it back up to 10 years later. So I'm happy about that. I'll show you guys when 
it's installed in the kitchen. I just feel like breaking the seal. I'm going to open it and then pieces are going to go missing. I hope that you understand. But yeah, um, I did buy a sink. So I'll show you the sink once I get it. I think I'm getting the sink tomorrow. But the sink is just a basic sink, guys. Nothing fancy. Um, then what else? I am going to redo my bathroom but i'll also do a little mini haul for you with that but it's nothing major look at the bathroom it's just changing the bath and the um, and the bathroom cabinet so yeah guys um let's renovate this kitchen um guys this is just fyi um those taps when you buy them they need these plugs here yeah. i forgot what the plugs are called but because these taps are was it French or Italian? But yeah, they're not manufactured in South Africa. So the measurements use um, American measurements. So yeah, please do get those plugs when you, if you do buy that kind of a tap. <laughs> so this is what my kitchen looked like before. Essentially, I wanted to get rid of the oven the stove hob and the extractor but I thought that I could use them um, after they were cleaned don't get me wrong they were clean but they were not functioning properly so I discarded the extractor and stayed with everything else and then on this side there was not much space guys and I've never been a fan of a one of a single sink so and I also wanted a breakfast nook at the same time so yeah those were the changes that i wanted to do let's get into it guys and i also wanted some more um cupboard space because like i mentioned the the walls are high in this place and there was no space even on the bottom um cupboards and then the sink was my biggest motivation for me to want to renovate this kitchen look how rotten these cupboards were i think it's from water damage i don't know whether the sink was leaking or what happened but i was not impressed um this was the day before what? the renovation guys the guys came in to drop off the material because they were starting the following day so they came in in the afternoon i think the day before and I was actually quite impressed because some of the cupboards came already, um, is it set up or already built? Yeah, already built. So I was quite impressed with that. I'll put the guys' details in my description box, guys. I honestly had no complaints with this gentleman. I think I did mention that he did my mother's kitchen, so hence it was quite an easy decision to take when I was looking for somebody to redo my kitchen so yeah guys this was the day before and yeah the guys came through the following day and they got right to work and these guys you know these chains are so efficient guys i've got no complaints about these guys they did such an amazing job although it did take so long it took about i think four days to um, complete this project Guys, by the time they were done, I was finished. Next week, Sabatli next, guys. You know, and I honestly thought they weren't going to touch the backsplash, but unfortunately, they had to touch it. And can I also mention the amount of cleaning that was needed every single time that maybe they finished something like Mona, they had just finished the one side of the kitchen. The amount of cleaning, guys, the rubble. Yo guys, I'm, I'm sure that my neighbors were quite upset with me. Yo, this thing took so much longer than we expected. But anyway, enjoyed the process nonetheless. Learning to be my long and it dragged. I honestly enjoyed the process. So that's just me cleaning up. And as usual, my mother in the background always always her and my sister i think my sister was in the bedroom at this point her and my sister always cheering me on guys i think this was the end of day one or two yeah no i think it was day two if i'm not mistaken so that was 
how the um, cupboards looked. And it was starting to take shape, guys. No, I'm lying. This is day one. Yeah, it's not day two. It's day one still. It was starting to take shape. I was just, like I said, I was just disappointed that um, I thought they weren't going to touch the backsplash. So now, obviously, it means I need to cater for that. Um, and then when this went up, guys, yeah, I don't know what it's called, the nook or what, but I was just like, yeah, no, um, my kitchen is going to be very beautiful. And essentially, this nook was supposed to have LED lights, but the budget was quite, it was quite heavy on the price. And then, yeah, this was the sink, guys. Look how rotten this cupboard was. Look, guys, I'm so glad that, I, look, guys, look there on top. Oh, this was what the cupboards looked like after they removed them under the sink and everything guys i think here was day two or three no just day two. Oh, but my neighbors guys i'm sure they were over me at this stage um yeah guys and my tap i live for this tap guys it's this tap i've always wanted it and to think that i got it at such a bargain yeah, guys, this is when I realized, oh, okay, we get in the Rafids, and Shem, the guys, was so patient. I don't want to lie. Every man that you see in here was patient. So, basically, with the stove, I just took the measurements for my um, gas stove hob, mm -hmm. and then, so, basically, my electrical stove is, for lack of a better word, it's floating, so we took the measurements for this so that we can use that for... Um, my gas stove if I'm making sense I think the measurements for the gas stove is a bit smaller than the electrical but the guys made a plan for me um, because I need a, what, a COC certificate when I install it hey guys so this is the final um, reveal or this is the final product of the kitchen um yeah where do i begin so basically over here is the drawers for the top drawer is for my spoons bottom drawers is for it's basically a catch-all drawer then the bottom drawer is for the vegetable rack and then like i had mentioned this was supposed to be a gas stove so the gas stove hob is supposed to go here and then the gas um tank was going to go in here so um at a later stage, I'm going to install the gas stove hob there and then put the gas cylinder in there. And then um, hopefully, I'm also going to change the oven. And then, yeah, I still need to do the backsplash here in the kitchen. And for now, because I'm not too sure where I want everything to go. At a later stage, I do want a coffee machine. So yeah, and then the the the, the kettle as well. I want a whistling kettle. Um, but yeah, hanyan hanyan, guys. And then as you move up here, that is space for my oven. I mean my microwave. I beg your pardon. And then guys, the the thing is, are all the way to the ceiling. The cupboards are all the way to the ceiling. And then here I'm gonna have those underneath gas um those underneath um what's this extra extractors so we'll see how that goes and then yeah let me show you the inside of these cupboards so guys over here the the extractor is gonna go in here and then guys I this is just a catch all like I mentioned these things are all the way to the roof these shelves of which I love um, but I'm not too sure if it was the right decision to actually take them all the way up because now it overwhelms me the way it's so high it overwhelms me so I just need to find a plan and then for now this is also a catch-all for now all of these shelves are just catch-alls just up until I figure out what to do with this amount of space. Then the microwave is going to go there. And then here is the spice rack. 
here is the spice rack shelf the pot shelf and yeah guys oh and then over here And then over here, guys, this is where the gas the gas cylinder is going to go. So for now, it's still a catch-all. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I'm with my kids. So for now, this is a catch-all. Who can I close? This is just a catch-all. I just keep a gile fail, guys, for now, because I'm not too sure when I'm going to get that um, gas cylinder slash change this stove into a gas, a gas stove. Um, then I've got these two beautiful floating shelves here. I love these guys. Yo. I've got these two floating shelves over here. I love, love these floating shelves. So I'm still trying to find my style, how I want to decorate them, these two shelves. Essentially, I wanted to put these canisters on top of the shelf, but then I'm not too sure, guys. Please do share some ideas. I am also on Pinterest, like, just to look for inspo and stuff. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, guys, let me show you the other side. Okay, guys, and then the kitchen from this other side. Um, I don't know if you can remember, the kitchen didn't have a pantry, so I've got a pantry there on the far left. Um... And then there by the pantry is my dustbin. Basically, this side is all the water stuff. My sink, my washing machine, everything water is on this side. And everything electrical is on that side. So, yeah, let me also walk you through this. Um, essentially, this cupboard here was supposed to have an LED light. Even this... Um, floating shelves were supposed to have led lights underneath them but yeah guys it was a bit expensive on the coat so i told the guy will definitely come through for the Tasaki emi shop and then yeah guys everything to do with the water and then the washing machine would essentially go there the sink guys i'm obsessed with my tap and i love it um yeah then obviously the thingy underneath here and then shelves again all the way to the ceiling let me open them for you guys and show you guys and then essentially here obviously the fridge would go here and then there's a wine rack over there and more storage space up there so let me let me open them up for you and show you okay guys so the shelves are open let me just try and move back a bit so here's the shelves yo guys you know i'm so overwhelmed by the amount of space that there is ne? don't get me wrong I love the amount of space, but now that essentially I think of it, it overwhelms me so much, guys. Over there, I can't reach, guys. I honestly can't reach. I can reach up at, like, can you see my cups there? The second level I can reach, but the third and the fourth, I can't reach, guys. And then these ones here as well. I guess I, I have to step, I have to go on my tippy toes to even reach the first one. Um, let me show you the other shelves. Then there's the other shelves all the way to the ceiling, guys. I love, love, love my kitchen, guys. But I could say sometimes just, okay, let me open the pantry for you. the pantry as well all the way to the ceiling guys it's so spacious it's so beautiful guys i love it i love 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 everything about this pantry guys i love everything about my kitchen let me talk to you quickly so guys like i was saying um i love i love my kitchen i've got no complaints i've got absolutely no complaints about it man. But now my issue is just that, that I feel so overwhelmed by the amount of space that I have that is going upwards. So downwards, there's not that much space, guys. And I also still try to accommodate to have a breakfast nook slash a place where my kids can do their homework as well. Um, so I feel like I've got more space going up rather than space at the bottom. So I don't know, sometimes I beat myself up about it and I'm like, but why did I make that decision? 
why didn't I change? Maybe why didn't I just why didn't I just make them like normal level? Maybe just added on extra shelves um, on top, as you would have seen the before pictures. So you know it was just a standard thingy, and then maybe I should have just added one shelf as opposed to going all the way to the ceiling. And I think I once said in my other video that my space has got, I mean, my my place has got very high ceilings. I love them, I hate them. It's a bitter sweet. It's a it's a love hate relationship. So I don't know, guys. So sometimes can I not feel happy? Look, can I feel happy? Look, he pulls away. Um, how am I going to tackle this? I need. A step ladder, literally a step ladder. So I'm thinking of getting those, yes, those three level. I don't know, guys. Part of me is thinking of getting an industrial step ladder, the ones that you can fold up that will sit in the corner somewhere by my balcony. And then another part of me is just like get those three steps, um, step ladder, those um, portable ones, you know, as opposed to an industrial one, if if I can put it that way. So I could save you guys, but otherwise I'm I'm happy with my kitchen. I'm just a bit bummed that I can't wait to to do my um, backsplash. I feel like that would make such a huge difference. So yeah, guys, But I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be in this space. I don't take anything for granted, you know. And like I said, I just have to be a bit patient with myself for a one step at a time. Rome was not built in one day. Hutokopana and hutoloka. But otherwise, a win is a win. A win is a win. Um, then I also needed to change the door as well. I'll try and show you some before. I forgot to, to add it onto the footage here. But if I have, I'll try and show you the before and after of the door. I'm, I'm still not happy with the door that I've changed it to, but it was just like a but I saw about the door before guys oh that door was horrible it was falling apart so even the door that I have now I'm not happy with it but it'll do for now and then I can just focus on other things guys so this process is so stressing but I've also realized the trick is not to do everything all at once take your time maybe one month at a time it does something then the next month it does something else but eventually walk up and guys is a feeling such um but anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support please do give this video a thumbs up if you've watched up until this far guys please please consider subscribing if you are not subscribed to the channel um otherwise guys now that's me i'll see you next time i think the next video will be of the kit of the bathroom um i don't want to say renovation bathroom update or mini renovation or i don't know guys i'll, I'll see but yeah the next room that we're tackling is the bathroom so yeah guys let me see you next time thank you so much for watching take care see you then bye